Hello and welcome to our video series on Tools for Assessment. In this video, we'll be focusing on Google Forms and its useful and interesting features for assessment. Google Forms is a powerful tool for gathering data in an educational setting. Teachers and school administrators can use it to create custom forms, surveys, quizzes and pools that help them get the information they need to make better educational decisions. Also, it can be used for assessment. In this video, we have explained step-by-step step how you create Google Forms for assessment. To create Google Forms, log in your G Drive account, click New Icon, and choose Google Forms here, click it, choose Blank Quiz or From a Template. Or you can simply navigate Google Forms on a web browser. Add a title and a description to your assessment. Next, click on question. Choose the type of the question from this section. There are different types of questions here, short answers, paragraph, multiple choice, checkboxes, and so on. Besides, you can add an image or a video to your question and also to the options. You can add more options by clicking on add options. At the bottom left side of a question, you can add answer key by clicking answer key, mark the correct option. You can adjust individual point values for each question from here. You can add answer feedback from clicking here. As a feedback, you can add a link or a video for incorrect answers and also correct answers. Once you have done, click save. When you have done with the arrangements of your question, click Done. You can also add a new question by just clicking this plus. Once the adding questions to your test are done, configure the settings from Settings here. This is not a strict step procedure. You can configure settings before adding questions as well. Under the Settings tab, you will see the Make this a quiz option enabled. Under it, choose how to release marks. Apart from that, you can manage how responses will be collected and presented under the Responses and Presentation options simultaneously. Then, under the Defaults option, you can enable the questions required and collect emails addresses by default. Moving further, to customize the form, click on Customize theme at the top bar. You can modify fonts, font sizes, header images, and theme colors. When you have created the Google Forms for assessment, the next step to include using Google Forms for assessment evaluation and reflection is to add a timer feature. To do so, we have to install the extended forms add-on. Go to More, Get Add-on. You have to find the extended forms. Click on it. You will see Install button here and install these extended forms to your computer. Once installed, you can see this add-on in the puzzle shape icon. If you don't see the icon, refresh your page. Click on this icon, click on configure, and the settings box will appear on the right bottom side of the screen. From the settings box, you can set a timer, restrict attempts, enable or disable the auto submit option. It also has a share form option that allows you to share forms with different options. Further, by clicking on the gear shape icon beside the share form, you can go to extended forms main menu. You can set the date and time of your assessment and add proctor settings, but these features are not free. Once you have done it, click save. If you want to preview your form, you can preview it in here or you can Click this icon at the top of the screen. To share the form, click on Send Invitation button to send custom invites via email. Know that after students submit the form, in the form section of the particular form, you will find all the responses. There will be a report button to check the report of the responses students sent. Your form is automatically saved to your G Drive so you can find it on your G Drive's main menu. Now you know how to use Google Forms. 
Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more video education content.